hello everyone i am here with my new video about types of hosting a typically server rack commonly seen in collection centers internet hosting services can run web servers the scope of web hosting services varies greatly shared web hosting service once website is placed on the same server as many other sites ranging from a few sites to hundreds of websites typically all demons may share a common pool of server resources such as rem and the cpu the features available with this type of service can be quite basic and not flexible in terms of software and updates resellers often sells shared web hosting and web companions often have resellers accounts to provide hosting for silence reseller web hosting allows silent to become web host themselves resellers could functions for individual domains under any combination of these listed types of hosting depending on who they are affiliated with a reseller resellers accounts may vary thermonosly in size they may have their own virtual dedicated server to a collected server many resellers provide an nearly identically a server to their providers shares hosting plan and provide the technical support themselves virtual dedicated server also known as a virtual private server vps vps stand for virtual private server divide server resource into virtual servers where resources can be allocated in a way that does not directly reflect the underlying hardware vps will often be allocated resource based on a one server to many vpss relationship however virtualizations may be done for a number of reasons including the ability to move a vps concentrate between servers the user may have root access to their own virtual space customers are sometimes responsible for picking and maintaining the server unmanaged server or the vps provide provider may provide server admin task for the customer managing server dedicated hosting service the user gets their own web server and gains full control over it user has root access for linux administrator access for windows however the user typically does not own the server one type of dedicated hosting is self management or unmanaged this is usually this is usually the least expensive for dedicated plans the user was full administrative access to the server which means the client is responsible for the security and maintenance of their own dedicated server managed hosting server the user gets their own web server but is 
not allowed full control over it user is dent root access for linux administrator access for windows however they are allowed to manage their data via ftp or other remote management tools the user is is allowed full control so that the provider can guarantee quality of service by not allowing the user to modify the server or potentially create configuration problems the user typically does not on their server the server is listed to their silent thank you